My name is Peter Larson, and I'm president of the Black Hills Institute of Geological Research in Hill City, South Dakota, USA. Our business, of Black Hills Institute, actually works for museums all over the world, and we have supplied muse museums uh, both in Europe and in Asia, and, and uh, uh, even a few specimens in South America, as well as, of course, North America. We are going to make sure that Naturales has a T-Rex. Because okay. a T-Rex is, the, I think, something that kids love and just as much as I do. T-Rex favorite food, it seems, was Triceratops. And we know this because although there's been a hundred skulls, plus more than a hundred skulls found of Triceratops, there's only been two skeletons that were more than 50% complete. And that's because we, uh, T-Rex loved this animal. We never find feet. Obviously, in the KT bar and grill, they had pickled Triceratops feet that the T-Rex always ordered because we never find foot bones. Uh, we, we never find whole ribs. In, it's very, very unusual to find whole ribs for Triceratops. And you never find a whole skeleton. The arms are missing. The lower legs are missing. You find you know, a vertebral column and some fra uh, par partial ribs and maybe part of the skull and part of the pelvis. That's it. Tri Triceratops skeletons are very important for us understanding what they ate and, and uh, uh, how they ate. I mean, we find marks on the bones, which we can see uh, scratches on the bones. And if we look under a microscope on some of those marks, we actually see micro scratches, which represent the serrations on, on a T-Rex tooth. And you can put that tooth right there and you know that's the animal that ate that. So uh, it's, it's part of, uh, when, in understanding T-Rex, Triceratops is one of the most important dinosaurs in, in helping us to understand how T-Rex lived, what they ate, how they made their living, and uh, how perhaps Triceratops defended itself against T-Rex. You think of dinosaur, you think of Tyrannosaurus rex, and as much as anything, it's that name that's got just a wonderful name, and plus this big mouthful of giant teeth, and, and uh, the idea that this, this monster that once was alive, I mean a real monster, this guy was here, he was standing right where I was, uh, but 60, in this case 67 million years ago. And it just, I guess, sort of stirs our imagination. And, and I tell people that paleontologists are, are really kids who never grew up because we have that same fascination with dinosaurs that kids do.